Hello everybody, so Calthero here. Welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Uh, today we're going to be working on the Chevelle finally getting it nice and done. As you see the motors in and out. In fact, every single car in the garage right now has the motor completely stripped out and been rebuilt and placed back in. So I brought a couple more cars down here. So as you remember before, the Cobra R was down here. The Subaru is back there, but I left it back there. Uh, only because I'm going to uh, kind of break up the uh, different origins of manufacture, I guess you can say. But, um, yeah, the Subaru's back there. Cobra's here. This is the Chevelle. This is a Ford GT uh, 20 or 2005 that I won at an auction that's just in bad shape. But I went through and redid the motor on it already. So, you'll pretty much just be tearing it down and uh, putting it back together again with... Uh, fix their new parts and then I brought down a Mitsubishi Eclipse as well which after doing the repair on it come to find out this is a Fast and Furious car because it's got the livery on it or at least I think it is it's already looking like it's got the livery on it so after we do the Chevelle we'll probably do the Eclipse and then we'll do the Mustang Cobra R then the Subaru and then uh, the Ford GT just to kind of break it up. But today we're going to be doing the Chevelle. As you see, the interior is in there already. The engine is already in here as well, which is totally not legit looking, but it's here. It's just floating there. So I'm going to raise it up right now and start putting the suspension components on it. Uh, the wheels should be done already. Oh, I forgot the radiator. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get all the steering and suspension done on it. <clears throat> and knuckle C is going to be something I need to buy, eh? looks like. And again, it's just like the other ones. I haven't bought any of the uh, suspension components other than this part of it. So I will have to jump back and forth into the tablet to put the parts on. But again, this is just so you guys don't have to sit here and watch a complete teardown and then watch it get all put back together again. And if I recall correctly, all three of these vehicles had the same wheel and tire set up for front and rear. So on the Chevelle, the goal is I kind of kept it to being in a, a restoration. So we're going to be trying to just restore it to its former glory here. No performance parts or anything like that. And then, oh my goodness. And then obviously on the, is it Rim Retro 11? That the, yeah. On the uh, Cobra, I am going to try to push it to being like a Cobra R kind of. So I put a lot of performance parts on it. And the Eclipse I was just going to do standard until I saw that it was the car from the Fast and the Furious movie. So that one's getting restored to uh, performance levels as well. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get that front steering knuckle C. And then this should complete the front end of this. And I think I just sold a... Yeah, but I just sold the gearbox to this thing before we started. Oh, and I need rubber bushings. Okay, well, that's great. All right, so let's get a gearbox. Nope, not that one. It's an overhead valve. And then we need the bushings. Might as well just buy a lot of them. I wonder if I can... Yeah, there we go. Okay, you can buy them at uh, 20 at a time, and then you get a lot of them. Unlike what I was doing before, just buying 20 and then running out each time. Whoops, didn't mean to put the gearbox on, but that's happening. There we go. And then we'll get this part of the front end on, and then that'll pretty much be it for the front end. It'll be all put together. Come on. Yeah, got to find that right spot. Uh, 
right, let's make sure those are gonna be the eclipse rooms the black ones are gonna be for the cobra and then these retro wheels are for oops are for the uh, Chevelle all right front exhaust pipe v8 overhead valve that had a lot on it I couldn't catch all that front exhaust pipe v8 overhead valve c i think is what it said that's a long title b okay it's a good thing i double check so two of those uh was it middle mufflers are next yeah and then rear muffler v8 okay pretty standard for the uh classic cars so rear muffler v8 we'll need two of those and the middle muffler we'll need two of those as well and that should complete the exhaust system on this thing Oh, whoops. There we go. There we go. And before I forget, oh, I didn't realize I missed one of these. I'm glad I did check this, too. I was coming over here just to put the starter on because I didn't want to forget that. But looks like it's, uh, there's a bushing missing, too. Put the fuel tank in. We'll put the fuel pump. There we go. Let's get this drive shaft put on too, and then that way we got the front and the rear end connected. There we go. Whoa, why am I moving way over? Oh, I clicked on the drive shaft, that's why. Okay. Spring cap, spring cap, shock absorber, shock absorber. I'm sure I don't have the springs still. Yep, I don't. I should just buy a surplus of those too. You always need them. Seems like even if it's not for oh that's front we don't need front we need rear we'll just do that we're gonna buy a surplus of this stuff just so we don't have to constantly go in here for something we always use and need we'll put those on all right I need that solid axle all right I have the knuckle housing so that's good I keep seeing this GT out of the corner here, and it makes me feel like I put a, uh, a bad part on here. It keeps catching me. Uh, solid rear axle. I need two of those. There we go. And color-wise, I haven't thought of what I want to do for this thing yet. Since it's original kind of restoration, I might just try to go with like a... Uh, Whatever the factory color was that it came with when I picked it up. Because I'm hoping that the mod author made it a color that's like pretty accurate to what they really are. Or what they used to be. So we'll see right now though. That was something I didn't think I had. That's good. I have just enough of those. Yeah, let's get this rear one on. Try to star pattern this time. There we go. All right, let's get over here now. Get this side all done. That. That. There we go. And this side will be done, and that should complete the mechanics of the car with the exception of the radiator that I forgot. Usually I do the um, engine bay complete, but I guess I forgot to do that with these three cars. And now I don't have any of the body paneling either. I sold all of it because I wanted to just start fresh with new stuff. Alright, so I need radiator C. Let's type in, let's just make it easier and type it in rad. Oops, come on. Whoops, rad. There you go, radiator C. Almost wasn't easier. And all of the engines have oil in them. I made sure this time. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's on to body paneling now. Go back home. Let's look up Chevelle. Oh, it was already there. Okay, never mind. Uh, we 
got Chevelle front bumper, front end, driver's side door and window and fender. Then the passenger side, this, the hood. I don't think you could do anything like special wise with it like, as far as restoration goes, like for modification. So looks like it's all just standard parts, which that's okay with me. Alright, let's go to assembly mode. Yep. Start putting all the parts on here. All new parts. Oh, unlike the Camaro, it came with a... Oh, come on. It came with a uh, passenger side mirror. If it uh, allows me to. I guess not. It's having a click issue right now. There we go. Let's say I gotta find the right spot for it. That... Alright. Oh, it's got the badging on there already. I'll have to buy plates. Oh, cool. It's originally a California car. It's actually got a California plate from before. Cool. Let's see. Got this on. There we go. Front bumper's on. Oh. Went away, come on. There we go. I noticed with this car, it has a lot of like sensitive click areas. I had to do a lot of like moving around to get the interior to install. All right, looks like all of that's done. Let's go ahead and get the license plates and then this thing will probably be pretty much done. We'll drive it even though it's stock, just to check it out. But, whoops, not 40s, 70s. Chevelle, or now we'll put Chevelle. Oh, I can't do that either. We'll put Chev SS. Although it's not the best because you don't know if I'm talking about a Camaro or the Chevelle, but it's all good either way. Normal mode, let's see how we're looking. We are at 100% for everything. Valued at 87,000 right now. So let's go ahead and go get it painted. And yeah, I don't think I have anything in this color unless there's something like specific in here that might tear it apart from the rest. I'm probably, oh, okay, they got striping. Oh, what's that going down the side? Oh, that's cool. That's pretty neat. Um, and they got black striping. Reminds me of the Chevelle I made for OCRP. That's their striping. White striping would look pretty good on this color. I think that's what we'll do. We'll go with that. Unless... I didn't look to see. Was there white with this? I see pink. I'm not doing pink. Nope. Okay. Well, white striping's good to me. Ooh. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, you know what? We got to move a car out of the way. Oh, as I hit my mic. <laughs> let's move this car onto the lift, and then we'll elevate it too. I'll have to tear this one apart, as it still needs it, as opposed to the others. All right, now we can move it over there. I'm not going to dyno it just because it's a stock car. It doesn't make sense to dyno it. Here we go. Close this door up. Let's get in and listen to her. Just a single overhead valve. It's nothing too fancy, like I said. But it does sound nice. You sit really low on this thing. <laughs> All right, let's go take it to the speed track. Let's see how let's go see how she does at the speed track. So we'll see how what the top speed is in this thing, even though it's stock. Oh. Sounds healthy. Kinda sucks, no working dials. Well, 
looks pretty good. Not too bad. 209 kilometers an hour for the top speed. That, that's pretty good. I mean, granted, it if it had a little bit of performance parts on it, it probably would have kept going. It sounded like it could have kept going, but like I said, it was just a restoration to the original uh, look and factory settings for the uh, Chevelle. So, wasn't meant to be built as an extreme screamer <laughs> by any means. But uh, guys, I, this episode might be a little short, but thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what you thought. If you're new to my channel and haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it as it helps me out as well as it keeps you informed on new content I release. If you're not new to my channel and you don't want to leave a comment down below, another way to let me know that you enjoyed this episode is by simply hitting the like button. Anyways guys, thanks again for watching, and I will see you on another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Take care.